Hey guys, today I'll be installing the WD Black SN850 NVMe SSD into my PS5. Sony has unlocked the extra N.2 SSD slot inside the PlayStation 5, so you can now expand your PS5 storage if you are running out of space for all your games. N.2 SSDs are high speed solid state drives that PS5 players can use to increase the storage capacity of their PS5 consoles. Once installed in the PS5 console, M.2 SSD storage can be used to download, copy, and launch PS5 and PS4 games, as well as media apps. This allows you to increase the storage space available to you on your PS5 console. You can freely move games between the PS5 console storage, a connected USB extended storage device, and the added M.2 storage. It's important that you only use a supported M.2 SSD to expand your PS5 console storage. The requirements can be found on the PlayStation website. Using an M.2 SSD with your PS5 console requires effective heat dissipation with a cooling structure, such as a heat sink and a heat transfer sheet. You can attach these to your M.2 SSD yourself, either in a single-sided format or double-sided format. There are also M.2 SSDs that have cooling structures such as heat sinks built in. The WD Black SN850 M.2 SSD that I'll be using is compatible with the PS5 and already has a heatsink attached. Let's check it out. This is the packaging. That's the drive, as you can see, it comes with an heat sink. And an heat sink is recommended for any SSD you're installing into the PS5. Let's get this thing installed. So the first thing you want to do is to remove the plate from the PS5. So to remove the plates, just turn the PS5 on the back and the back is the one without the PS5 logo. Grab the edges, pull up and down. Very easy. Make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver handy to remove the screw from the plate. After you remove the top casing, you want to remove the screw at the top here. There's also a small pin, you want to remove that. Then place it at a point where your drive stops. Mine stops at number 80. Snap it in. Then install your drive. Make sure you're snapping. Then replace the screw. Now that screw is nice and tight, you can replace the cover. Make sure to replace the cover. Now that the drive is installed, we can now replace the PS5 cover. Let's put it on. 
snap it in and that's it now let's get this thing powered up the first message that you will get when you boot up your ps5 is to format the m.2 ssd that was pretty quick it gives you the re-speed 6553 megabits per second the chain where games are installed you have to go to settings storage installation location if you ever want to remove your ssd safely you have to turn off your ps5 first let's boot it up Now that we're logged into the PS5, let's check our storage. And now you can see we have console storage, M.2 SSD storage, and I have my USB extended storage also showing. For PS5 games and apps, you now have two options, console storage and M.2 SSD storage. And for PS4 games and apps, we now have console storage, M.2 SSD storage, and USB extended storage. Let's see if we can copy a game over. We got Call of Duty. Select items to move. The item you selected will be moved to the M.2 SSD storage. Okay. We can see that 192.2 gigabytes of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War was copied over to the M.2 SSD storage. So that's how you install SSD and that's how you copy over games. Pretty easy. If you like this video guys, drop me a like or subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.